Have you ever wondered how an electric generator works? It's a question that has puzzled many a curious mind. At first glance, it might seem like a complex, even daunting topic. But fear not, it's a fascinating world of science and engineering, full of intriguing mysteries waiting to be discovered. So, are you ready to dive into the captivating journey of understanding electric generators, the magic, the science, the engineering? Stay with us to unravel the mystery behind the workings of an electric generator. To understand the functioning of an electric generator, we first need to know about electromagnetism. So what is electromagnetism exactly? Well, think of it as a dance between electricity and magnetism. When electric current passes through a wire, it creates a magnetic field around it, much like invisible rings. This is the electricity part of the dance. Now, for the magnetism part, if we move a magnet near a wire or coil, even without touching it, it can generate an electric current in the wire. It's like the magnet is whispering to the wire, urging it to produce electricity. Both these phenomena are the two sides of the same coin, and this coin is called electromagnetism. It's the fundamental principle behind the working of an electric generator. When we spin a coil in a magnetic field, we produce electricity. It's pure science magic. Now that we have a grasp on electromagnetism, we can delve into the workings of an electric generator. Imagine an electric generator as a magical box that converts mechanical energy into electrical energy. It's a fascinating device, isn't it? But what's even more interesting is what happens inside this magical box. Let's dive in and explore. The heartbeat of the electric generator is the rotor, also known as the armature. This is a set of coils wound in a circular fashion around an iron core. The rotor spins around creating a magnetic field, which is the first step in our energy conversion process. Now, meet the stator. The stator, as its name suggests, is stationary. It's a kind of magnetic field receptor, if you will. It's composed of another set of coils, and it's here that the magnetic field generated by the spinning rotor is received and converted into electric current. But what makes the rotor spin? That's where the prime mover comes in. The prime mover could be anything from a steam turbine in a power plant, a water wheel in a hydroelectric plant, or even a diesel engine in a small generator. This is the source of the mechanical energy that gets the whole process started. Then we have the cooling system. Generators can get pretty hot, and it's the cooling system's job to keep things from overheating. Depending on the generator's size and type, the cooling system could use air, water, or oil. So, to recap, the prime mover spins the rotor. The rotor's magnetic field is received by the stator, which converts it into electrical energy and the cooling system keeps everything running smoothly. It's a beautifully coordinated dance of energy conversion happening right inside this magical box we call the electric generator. And the best part is all these components work in harmony to light up our homes, power our industries, and essentially make our modern lives possible. Let's now see how these components work together to generate electricity. The magic of an electric generator lies in its ability to convert one form of energy to another. It's a delicate dance of physics and engineering that powers our lives. But how does this conversion take place? Let's dive into the heart of an electric generator to find out. At the heart of every generator is a prime mover. This could be a steam turbine, a diesel engine or even a wind turbine. The prime mover's mission? To rotate the rotor inside the generator. The rotor often a large electromagnet, is the main player in our energy conversion story. As the rotor spins, it creates a magnetic field. Imagine it like a giant magnet spinning on its axis, creating waves of magnetic energy. These waves are invisible to the naked eye, but their presence is very real and very powerful. Wrapped around the rotor is the stator. This is a stationary part of the generator, usually consisting of a series of tightly wound coils of wire. The stator is the silent observer in this process, but it has a crucial role to play. When the magnetic field created by the spinning rotor passes over the coils of the stator, something extraordinary happens. The magnetic field induces an electrical current in the stator. 
This is due to a fundamental principle of physics known as Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. In layman's terms, Faraday's law states that a change in a magnetic field can induce an electric current in a nearby conductor. In the context of an electric generator, the rotor's spinning magnetic field is the change and the stator's wire coils are the nearby conductor. The electrical current that's induced in the starter is what we use to power our homes, our cities and our lives. It's the same current that lights up your room when you flick a switch, that keeps your refrigerator humming and that charges your phone while you sleep. But it's important to remember that this conversion process isn't a one-time event. It's happening continuously, every second of every day, in generators all over the world. As long as the rotor keeps spinning, the magnetic field keeps changing and the electrical current keeps flowing. And there you have it, the intricate ballet of energy conversion that takes place inside an electric generator. From the spinning rotor to the silent stator, from the invisible magnetic field to the life-giving electrical current, it's a process that's as beautiful as it is complex. That is the magic of conversion from mechanical energy to electrical energy. It's a dance that's been choreographed by generations of scientists and engineers, and it's one that will continue to power our world for generations to come. Now that we understand how an electric generator works, let's explore where we use them. You might be surprised to know how much we rely on electric generators every single day. These amazing devices are integral to our lives, powering everything from the smallest gadgets to the largest cities. Let's start with power plants. Most of the electricity we use comes from power plants which, at their heart, have huge electric generators. Whether it's a coal-fired, nuclear or hydroelectric plant, they all use the same basic principle we've discussed earlier, converting mechanical energy into electrical energy. But it's not just about the big stuff. Electric generators are also found in smaller, more familiar places. Ever been on a camping trip and used a portable generator? That's an electric generator in action, providing you with the comforts of electricity even in the great outdoors. How about those emergency backup systems in hospitals, data centers and even at home? Whenever a power outage occurs, these systems kick in, ensuring that critical operations continue without a hitch. Again, it's the electric generator that makes this possible. Let's not forget about our vehicles. Cars, trains, ships, even some types of aircraft, they all utilize electric generators. In cars, for instance, the alternator is a type of electric generator that keeps your battery charged and your electronics running. And for the tech enthusiasts, you'll find electric generators in wind turbines and solar power systems, helping to harness the power of nature to generate clean, renewable energy. In essence, electric generators are everywhere, silently working behind the scenes, keeping our world powered up and running smoothly. They're in our homes, our workplaces, our vehicles, and even in our pockets, in the form of portable power banks. So the next time you switch on a light or charge your phone, remember the electric generator that makes it all possible. We've demystified the complex workings of an electric generator and seen its incredible applications. It's been a journey of discovery, starting with the intriguing world of electromagnetism, a fundamental force that underpins the functionality of our electric generators. We delved into the heart of an electric generator, unearthing its key components. We encountered the armature, the field magnet, and the commutator, each playing a unique role in the creation of electricity. From there, we stepped into the realm of energy conversion, unraveling the magic that transforms mechanical energy into electrical energy. It's like a well-choreographed dance, where every movement, every spin, every turn leads to the generation of electricity. And of course, we witnessed the practical applications of electric generators. From powering homes and businesses to driving industrial processes and providing emergency backup during power outages, these ingenious devices are the unsung heroes of our modern world. So there you have it, the fascinating world of electric generators stripped down to its core. 
It's a testament to human ingenuity and our relentless pursuit of harnessing the forces of nature for our benefit. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Exploring Science YouTube channel for more enlightening content. Until next time, keep exploring.